Illinois Hospital and organizations. They're trying to make football safer. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn traveled to Crawford County. She has more on how these new additions are advancing the sport in several ways. Tim Nolan is the head coach at Robinson High School. Football is a very important thing in a young man's life. A 40-year career. It's a sport he calls the teacher of teamwork and toughness. But at the same time, you're walking this very thin line. Especially when it comes to safety. Kids are kids. They're going to they're gonna try to play through what they think they can play through. Athletic trainer Scott Rawlings knows better than anyone. He says he sees about 8 to 10 concussion cases every year. We're there at practices and games, but... You know, there's just some things you don't necessarily see. But technology in helmets could change that. Rawlings says $18,000 worth of Speedflex helmets will go to area schools, each one complete with impact sensors to be another set of eyes for trainers. So we wanted to demonstrate exactly how this works. So let's say you have a group of players going over drills on one side of the field. When somebody takes a hard hit, a sensor in the helmet would go off, alerting the trainer, who in this case is on the other side of the field, leaving him to come to the player and address the issue. Not only alert, but educate. Rawling says the helmet software can compare a player's hits to national data, as well as identify problem spots in the way they tackle. If you have kids that are maybe, you know, head droppers when they're going to make contact, that it can be a teaching tool that, hey, your sensor is consistently four or five times a day on the crown of your helmet. Advancing the future. Probably in 10 years, this game's not going to look like it looked 10 years ago. Uh, but if it saves football, then that'll be a good thing. And keeping score on safety. In Crawford County, Illinois, Aaliyah Blackburn, News 10. Crawford Memorial Hospital, United Way of Crawford County, and Bay Safety will chip in to buy at least 15 helmets for every county team.